already, look at me, back already, got a new set, back already, I really like to merely walk on them, I really like to merely walk. <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Tara Crush, back with another review, and this time it is for Zatema on BET+. Plus. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. Thank you so very much. Okay, so let's get right into these last two episodes of season one. Okay, so we opened up, as you, you know, last week, Zach proposed to Fatima. And she was just shocked coming into this episode, just kind of looking at him like, what are you doing? He was like, Fatima, people are looking. She said, like, I don't give a damn about these people. She really does give a damn about them people. But anyway, so she sits down. He's still on his knee. And she's like, why you want to marry me? And he tells her the most beautiful reason. My life has never been this good since I met you, baby. Since I met you, baby. <laughs> it was a lot more eloquent than that. But he definitely um, proved that he loved her. He said he's going to love her and he wants to be with her for the rest of his life. So do me the pleasure of being my wife. Ah, he's a poet and didn't even know it. <laughs> I was just so happy. I was like, girl, you better say yes. You had better say yes. Because Ian's dying and Hayden is a piece of, you know what? So there's that. Because she said yes and they left. And of course, when they get back to the house, Deja's outside, bent over her car, you know, just waiting for Zach to get home. Basically, then unplugged her own car to get Zach to help her fix her car. And, you know, Fatima wasn't having it. She sent them in the house to change his clothes because they had been out to dinner or whatever. And um, she told us, she was like, well, what's wrong with it? I don't know. I'm sure it's simple. And Fatima goes over there and looks at it. And she's like, girl, why is your battery unhooked? Your cable's unhooked. She said, what? <laughs> she said, don't play with me. So basically what Deja did was sabotage her own car to try to get Zach to, to come over to her house for whatever reason. So as Fatima went in the house to join Zach, um, it looked like Nate came from around the building and went into Deja's uh, apartment. So Nate's creeping with Deja. Ill. But you know what? They really deserve each other because they both slammy people, they both grammy people, and they both get on my doggone nerves. So they really do deserve each other. So <sighs> that was just, you know, it's just crazy, but... Moving right along to Zach and Fatima, you know, they had a conversation about Bryce and, you know, he told her that Bryce asked him, was he bisexual? She asked him why. He said because he had said something about them getting married. Pause. So he said if he can put his brain into Fatima's body, you know, it would be a perfect match and whatever. And so Bryce is just sitting there really thinking and pondering like, oh, is this dude down low? Then Zach got nerve enough to get undressed booty hole naked in front of this bi man. So now he's just like really feeling it. So he, you know, that explains his super hard boner when he got home, right? And so Fatima's like, you know, you should, um, you should say something to him. He's like, I'm not going to say anything. She said, she said, are you going to say something to him? He said, no. She said, I don't think you should either. It'll come out. And so she's riding with... She meets, uh, well, when she gets to work, she sees Angela and they have a conversation and they're going to meet for lunch to go and see the building that Zach and Bryce are, you know, putting a bid on, right? So they ride in the car and Angela basically insinuates that Zach is bisexual based off of the stuff that she's getting from Bryce. Basically, Bryce talks about Zach all the time. And blah, 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 blah. And Fatima was like, so you think Zach is bisexual? And she was like, yes. And she was like, no, baby, he is not bisexual. Sounds like it's the other way around. And it would. Like, if you talking about a dude all day, every day, I can deduce what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can definitely add two and two. And I can, I, I know it's four. I know it's four. Before you tell me it's four, I know it's four. Okay? So don't try to fool me. So... Angela's sitting there like, you mean to tell me I finally get the man of my dreams and he's bisexual? Yeah, and Angela's beautiful. She doesn't deserve that. So uh, Fatima didn't want to tell her anything, of course. And so 
uh, as they get to the office, uh, they see Bryce on the floor. And you should say, why is Bryce on the floor? Because they was looking at buildings to bid on. And Zach, Zach was standing there with the laptop in the hallway. And Bryce is standing there, you know, all close to him and stuff. And he's like, you don't mind me being this close? And Zach ain't paying no attention. You know what I'm saying? Because they agreed that they wasn't going to talk about it no more. South there. <laughs> But here it come Bryce again. So he's like, this is weird. And so Zach was like, I don't mind you being this close with Rose. Come on, look. And, um, you know, he goes in for the kiss. And he tried to kiss Zach. And Zach punched him in the face. And there's nothing wrong with that because, I'm sorry, that's a violation. You can't just put your mouth on somebody without their, you know, them telling you. He told you he was not bisexual, but yet here you are. Which I feel like... It is very, very, very irresponsible of Tyler Perry to write this this way. Because I don't think that that is what bisexual men do. And so for Bryce to think it was okay to, to you know, to lean in and, and kiss Zach is just like crazy to me. But, you know, they come in and they're like, what is going on? And, you know, of course, Bryce is like, oh, we're just playing. <laughs> We're just playing. No, y'all ain't playing. Your, your jaw hurt. Your face hurt. I know it do. She punched you. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> so, I know you hurt me, bro. So, um, I don't know. When Fatima was sitting there talking to Zach after Bryce and Angela went into his office, she asked, she asked them what was going on and he told her. She said, he said, man, he tried to kiss me. And, you know, I punched him. And she was like, you hit him? Yes. And she was like, Zach, you ain't supposed to do that. And she, he said, man, his 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 bottom lip touched my top lip. Braced my top lip. <laughs> I feel that. Now, she's um, not wanting to tell Angela at all. She wants Angela to find out on her own. And, you know, Angela gets home, though, and it's like, Bryce is acting different. He's acting funny. Is that something that what really happened today and you know she was like you need to ask him basically Fatima didn't tell her nothing told her that she needed to ask her man and you know Angela was like nah I need to come over there we need to have dinner all together and, and talk about this and she was like I don't know if Zach's gonna be down with that and she's like is he mad she's like yeah he's really mad he's upset and he should be you know what I'm saying? Because if a woman came and tried to just kiss me in my mouth after I told her I'm not bisexual, I'm going to punch her and I'm probably going to beat her up because I feel valid. Period. And with a man, I'm going to kneel him in his bowels and I'm going to punch him and I'm going to run. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm just letting you know. So she went to, to talk to Zach about it. Now, mind you, before all of this happened, you got Nate in, in the apartment with Deja, Zach and, and Fatima come home from, you know, the office and Nate's wife is sitting there with a baseball bat ready to fight Fatima talking about, you sleeping with my man, my man is in there. And she's like, I ain't sleeping with your man, I don't know who you are. And she kept calling her a B-I-T-C-H. And, you know, that wasn't sitting well with Fatima because Fatima's pretty much tired of Zach letting letting other females call her out of her name. I don't know what Fatima wants Zach to do, but she's pretty much sick and tired of that. Okay. And she couldn't figure out where he was, but she was pinging his phone and it showed that he was there. And so she said, well, I want to look around. And she went inside, looked around all the, all the way upstairs. She's looking under the pillow. She's like, you really thought he was going to be under the pillow? And she was like, I'm sorry. And she apologized or whatever. And then, you know, Zach is like, you need some fresh air. And so Zach goes to open up the balcony door, and he sees Nate in the hot tub with Deja. Ooh, he turns around, he was like, no, 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 she just needs to get somewhere out the front door. Let's open the front door. And um, Fatima's like, you're acting weird. No, let's just open the door. So Fatima goes back there, and she was like, I'm not helping him. And so basically she saw it too. White didn't see it. And, you know, they get the white to go out the front door. She goes in the back after Zach takes uh, Nate's wife out the front door. 
Fatima goes out the back door to get Nate out of the hot tub and to drag Deja. So she drags Deja out of there and pop, 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 pop on her head. And then, you know, she runs off. Here come Nate talking crap. And I mean, really cussing Fatima out. F you, you ain't nothing. I've been knowing him since he was 10. This ain't your house, this is his house. I can be here. Yes, he knows I'm here. I got my wife figured out. Don't worry about me, blah, 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 blah. So then here comes Zach back like, what is going on? And Fatima's like, he's like, please go in the house. Let me handle this. So Fatima goes in and goes out the front door and then catches her, you know, Nate's wife before he leaves and says, has her to go around the back. Now, <clears throat> so she basically about to bust Nate because how dare you cuss me out? And I was like, you better Fatima. Because you was sitting here trying, you know, you didn't want to even laugh at him. And he's sitting there treating you like this, like you ain't nothing. Yeah, I'm the fiance. He was like, oh, he done proposed. Yes, it's, it's forever, honey. And so, you know, Fatima definitely, you know, set him up. Because <laughs> he was talking crap, talking about, yeah, I got my wife figured out. And blah, 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 blah. He opened that door and his wife punched him in the nose, broke his nose. <laughs> And beat him up and then ran off. I was like, yeah, buddy, you're in trouble. And so, you know, of course, Nate's mad that he got busted. And, and you know, that's just like a narcissist. They're going to be mad even though they're in the wrong. So, you know, that went that. We didn't, we didn't actually get to see Angela and Bryce come over. But Fatima did get a call that the paternity test results was in and i was wrong i was wrong i thought it was gonna be his brother's baby but it was his because they said it was 99.9 .9. now if i know tyler perry like i think i know tyler perry he know got these did he get these mixed up is it possible he got the the test mixed up please say he got the test mixed up but maybe not Maybe it's really, you know, his baby, which is crazy because the timeline is just not right. If this child is three years old and him and Karen was together for two and a half, three years, how the heck was he talking about Karen when he conceived this child? Hello, I'm looking for continuity here and I'm not seeing any. How was he? you know, able to conceive this child and talk about a person he wasn't even with yet. That's why I feel like it's BS. I don't, I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, so for right now, Zach got one child. Now, that was pretty much the, the season, you know, it's pretty much over for now. And I'm not sure when it's coming back, but I will be watching Cause I got to see what's up with Bryce and his down low self. I got to see what Angela gonna do. And it looks like they're both about to expel one of their long-term friends. She ain't really dealing with Belinda. And it looked like he's about to be done dealing with Nate, which I hope he's done dealing with Nate because I do not like Nate. He gets on my nerves. He gets on my nerves. So yes, get rid of him and get rid of Belinda. And we'll see what happens with Angela because she seems, seems to not want to believe that her man is deal. So we're just going to have to see. So, um, I'm going to end it right there. Sorry to run on long and then it should have. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button down at the bottom. <laughs> Thank you. I do thank you for watching and if you're not the subscribing type you know what i thank you anyway for just watching because you are appreciated needed and loved as well okay okay and that's my five dollars and two cents peace